بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Allah tells us in Surah An-Nur, Surah 24 uh, of the Qur'an, uh, Nur meaning light, the, the Surah is literally named light or the light, subhanAllah. And there's definitely a lot of light for us in this ayah in which Allah says, وَتُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا أَيُّهَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ Allah tells the community of believers, and Allah says this in the plural, all of you should do tawbah. All of you should ask Allah for forgiveness. All of you should turn back to Allah Azza wa Jal. All of you should put in more work as it relates to your relationship with the Creator, with God Almighty. وَتُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا All of you, أَيُّهَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ So that you may attain success, so you, so you may be successful. What I want to highlight here is that Allah mentions the entire community of believers. Allah says, all of you should do tawbah. All of you should ask Allah for forgiveness and you'll be successful, uh, inshallah. The, the key component here is that no one is left out. No one from the Muslim community is left out of this. This command from Allah Azza wa Jal is relevant to someone who may be praying regularly, giving charity regularly, connecting with the Qur'an consistently, it's relevant to them to do tawbah, to ask Allah for forgiveness, not just a little bit here, a little bit there, but consistently on a daily basis. And this is just as relevant for the one who's very, very distant from Allah. Maybe they hardly pray, they hardly give charity, they hardly connect with the Qur'an. Allah is saying, all of you, need to ask Allah for forgiveness. All of you need to do tawbah. When we do that, we end up being successful in this life and the next. When you look at Surah Nuh, what does Prophet Nuh uh, tell his people? Right? Ask Allah for forgiveness. Ask Allah for forgiveness. He's already been extremely forgiving, the most forgiving. And God's nature does not change. God has been extremely forgiving, the most forgiving. God is the most forgiving, and God will continue to be the most forgiving. So he's giving them hope. And the reason he does this is because one of the, the key tactics of shaitan, of the devil himself, is to convince a person that it's not possible for them to be forgiven regarding whatever mistake or mistakes they may have made. It's not just about the fact that they made one mistake or a hundred or a thousand, whatever they may be, but he wants them to double down on their mistakes by turning away from having hope in God's mercy. So what's prophetic? To give people hope. To increase the hope in people. Responsible hope, you could say. So he's telling his people, ask Allah for forgiveness. He's extremely forgiving. Don't think to yourself, no, I can't be forgiven. No, but I've done this. I haven't done that. He's telling his people, ask Allah for forgiveness. And Allah is more than willing to forgive you. But you have to do your part. In addition to that, he'll send abundant rain. He'll increase you in, in wealth, in children, in gardens, and rivers, right? So the, the benefits that come from making istighfar are numerous. The Prophet taught us, alayhi salatu salam, that whoever, whoever is, is consistent in their istighfar, whoever makes it an obligation upon themselves to ask God for forgiveness consistently, then Allah will give them uh, relief from every worry A way out of every difficulty And provide for them from places That they would have never expected But this is conditional This is if they do their part This is if they make their istighfar And they live their istighfar It's not just asking Allah to Forgive them for one thing or another But to look at their lifestyle To look at the company they keep To look at a lot of different things And to think practically Okay, how can I live my istighfar it's not just asking Allah to forgive me, 
Okay, but what can I do to try my best to avoid making that same mistake again? What can I do to change my ways? What can I do to change the overall direction of my life? Right, so to, to say it, but to also live it, we have to do our part. If we do our part, the Prophet taught us, alayhi salatu wasalam, if we walk towards Allah Azza wa Jal, right, then Allah will run towards us. But we have to walk first. Fadkuruni adhkurkum. We have to remember God first and He'll remember us. We have to walk towards God first and He'll run towards us. But we can't forget that we have to do our part in terms of walking. So we ask Allah to forgive us. We ask Allah to forgive any and all of our mistakes. We ask Allah to increase us in hope. And we ask Allah to make us people who increase others in hope as well. We ask Allah to gather all of us in paradise. Amin Rabbil Alameen. Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Izzati Amma Yasifun. Wassalamun ala al-mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.